Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of Matchbox Marks, Diecast Restorations. So I'm going back to King Size Matchbox. Uh, I, I ordered this a while ago on eBay and I've had it in my box for a while. So I thought, well, I've been doing corgis for a while, so let me get back to my roots and do a little bit of Matchbox action. So this one here is, let me see if we can read it here. Alright, so the... Hovering him, Tipper. Hovering him. Hovering him. And uh, I'm sure my friends from across the pond will tell me how to pronounce that. Uh, Matchbox series, king size, number one. Huh, number one. That's pretty cool. So, uh, fairly decent shape. I do have eight replacement new tires for it. I think I had to take out a mortgage on my house. They were so expensive. So, anyway, so those will be replaced. The horns are bent and crooked, and the windshield, I don't think I'm going to be able to save. Um, I did another king-size uh, Bedford Lorry tipper, and I actually made, it was missing the windshield, and I made it, and I painted it with clear yellow, and it came out pretty good. So, anyway, this one is in fairly decent shape, and I'm going to be doing a fleet of these, the Mini-Me version uh, I'm just waiting on one of my tipper gates to come in before I can start that project. I have three of them I need to do. So anyway, uh, pretty identical units. So anyway, so yeah, that'll be for another day. So, uh, the king size Haveringham tipper, uh, number one. So stay tuned as I take it apart. All right, let's check out the old tipper. There we go. Uh, technically, I don't have to call my buddy in, uh, the wrecker. Uh, this can drive. It's just missing a tire. But anyway, so. All right, so let's take this apart. So first things first. Let's uh, take off the front end here. One little rivet. There we go. So there's that. And all of the tires are definitely worn out. They don't stay on there anymore. And I don't know what this plastic thing is. It must be a shock absorber, but the rest of them doesn't have it. There's two tires. Guess I can take off all the tires. And let me see here. That's, that's the easy part. All right, so it looks like I have a suspension in the front and then in the back. These don't have any, so I'll be sure to put those back in there. So I've got a lot of little axle thingies to take out, so I'm going to do that all off camera and see what we've got when I'm done. I'll be right back. All right, so here are... All of the individual pieces to the old uh, truck here. And this shouldn't be too complicated. I do want to show you the window. Looks like somebody either threw a rock at it or, I don't know, shot a hole in it. So obviously I'm going to have to be creative in getting that thing uh, working again or make a new one. So, all right, there we go. So stay tuned and get this truck stripped up. All right, here's the tipper truck. Got her all cleaned up. There is a few remnants of red paint on this. It was hard getting every little nook and cranny, but I think uh, I think there's enough off of it to do a good paint job. And here's the tipper. There is some paint left still in there. I'm, it's hard to get that, but not much. All right, I'm gonna go rinse it off and get it ready for primer. Stay tuned. All right, so here's the progress with the window unit for this Hoveringham tipper. So uh, this 
windscreen was obviously not salvageable. So what I did, I just took some clear plastic sheets and spray painted uh, or airbrushed the uh, clear green. And here's what I came up with. It's not bad, but I'll tell you one thing, it's hard making them turn. So what I did, I put glue and scotch tape in there to hold it. So uh, hopefully uh, through the years and generations, it'll stand strong. And of course I need to touch that up a little bit with some red. So, all right, I'm gonna put this together and, uh, but before I put it together, I'm gonna put everything out and see what we've got. Stay tuned. All right, so here are all the uh, pieces to the Hoveringham tipper. So there's the tipper, got the new decal on there. And here's the uh, main body. And there's the horn, put some chrome paint on there to make it look shiny again. And there's the front part, painted it in flat black. Axles, chromed out the tips brand new tires and they all fit really really good no more slacking them and the little uh, uh jacks for the tipper and then the little shock absorbers so let me put this thing together and stay tuned for the final reveal all right it is time for the reveal of the uh, matchbox king size number one hovering them tipper so uh this one uh it gave me a few challenges uh so let's start at the beginning obviously got a new fresh coat of paint job uh new decal there from black square decals and oh, my turntable i'll tell you it's not the best but it does work um so i got eight brand new tires and when I put the tires on the rims, they were really, really snug. And then when I put them on the axles, uh, they kind of got some play in them. But anyway, it's for display anyway. So uh, the, part, the hardest part about this whole resto was the windshield. Man, it is hard to do curved windshields. So I took some clear uh, plastic like I showed in the previous clip. And just did some clear green and... It came out fairly decent. Um, like I say, it's better than before. I guess when you do these projects, if it turns out better than what you started, then you've uh, accomplished your mission. So anyway, chromed out the front end and chromed out the horns. So, all right. Uh, that'll do it for this resto. So if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and all that good jazz. And... And I will uh, catch you on the next one. Stay safe and thanks for watching.